All right, I got a couple Starfield stories here. The first is from the MarySue.com. I'm not loving the latest meme about Starfields and PC faces. I'll link this in the description box. You know, read it for yourself. But basically, this person is complaining that the, the faces in Bethesda games have always basically looked like odd. We'll say that's a nice way to put it. But this person's saying that it's targeted by POC racism. And you can see here are some faces and stuff. And and yes, this person did use all. BIPOC, as this dope would say. But then also, has, oh, that's right, there's a party up here. This, the slop itself wouldn't be a problem if Bethesda's general fan base wasn't prone to pointing things out in what feels like very targeted ways. So, in other words, Bethesda's general fan base is apparently made up of a bunch of racists, according to the Mary Sue. Anyway, it goes on and talks about, I know some people might try to shut this conversation down because it's just a funny haha -ha Bethesda meme. And why do SJWs have to take the fun out of everything? Whatever. Here's the thing. These pictures, especially the one of the Asian man on the right, you don't get more classically orientalist than that. This one right here is in, it's the one she's specifying. We're very deliberate choices on the photographer's part. And it contributes to racial biases. Certain types of gamers already nurse. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, the very white presenting romances in Baldur 83 and all this kind of stuff and blah, blah, whatever. You know, it's just ridiculous. Like I said, I'll link it in the description box and read it for yourself, but you can just imagine where it goes from there. The second one is from the, or second story is from the gamer.com. Stop using mods to make female gamers prettier. I don't claim to speak for everybody. I would imagine most people would just have this to say no or fuck off. One of the two. Goes on and complains about a lawyer had fuzz on her face and people were complaining about a beard blah 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 and there's a recent uh, it's deemed unacceptable for women in games not to be beautiful as the recent swath of mods of games or mods of four games like Baldur's Gate 3 have, have proven then it goes on and gives a couple examples there's even a mod that makes shadow art prettier despite the fact she already looks like a supermodel it offers up a strange standard that I'm not sure anyone can be happy with it's a problem in itself that you can't experience Lazel's story for what it is. But objectively, she's not a beautiful creature. Shadow, however, is a conventionally attractive woman. I like how they say conventionally. It's like, I would say pretty much everybody would agree. Hey, maybe not. There's going to be some people who are going to disagree, but teach strong. But it goes on and it talks about you know, Mass Effect, Dragon Age, Cyberpunk, and Tomb Raider. Just a, a few examples of the whole, you know, build a bitch, basically, kind of thing. And it's just, it's absolute nonsense. Basically, you know, complaining about having mods, you know, to, to basically make the women prettier. You got to bring up The Last of Us 2, talking about Abby's unrealistic body, despite the fact she was modeled off an actual female athlete, yada, yada, yada. I'll link this too if you want to read it, but I wouldn't recommend reading either of these pieces of shit, to be quite honest, because they're, quite frankly, they're pieces of shit. I mean, <laughs> you know, it doesn't get much more uh, plain than that, but it's just ridiculous. It's also talking about how you know, the waiting of these mods, the ones that take a man's shirt off, to the ones that contort a woman's clothes and body and face in any and all directions, also heavily out of sync, with far fewer shirtless men to be found. Okay, well, first of all, if you wanted more women in the games, okay, so that means that there's fewer men in the games, in general. And besides the fact that that's bullshit, you can find all sorts of Leon Kennedy mods for the various Resident Evil games, so get the fuck out of here with this stuff. That's absolutely absurd. It's, it's... You know, it might be slanted a little more because primarily men play these modded video, play these mods or use these mods and stuff. But at the same time, there's there's plenty of women who are going to use these mods. So just it's just more pointless bitching and everything and stuff. Like I said, you can read it for yourself. You know, judge for yourself if you want. Cause I kind of glossed over these, but I, I feel pretty safe in saying that I don't think most people would care much for this kind of shit. It's no wonder. That this, both of these companies are likely soon to go out of business. We'll see. I mean, may, maybe not. Maybe they'll just downsize, stay around. Who knows? It's hard to say. But anyway, like I said, I'll go ahead and link these in the description box. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.